Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to show you an activity of electromagnetic induction using two coils. This phenomenon is also known as mutual induction. This is a DC power supply. We will use 12 volt DC voltage across the primary coil in our experiment. We take a coil of insulated copper wire of 50 turns. Connect the ends of the coil to the DC power supply. This coil will serve as the primary coil for our experiment. When we switch on the power supply, an electric current will flow through it and a powerful magnetic field will be produced around the primary coil. Now we take another coil of insulated copper wire of 500 tons. We name this coil as secondary coil. Take a galvanometer and connect the ends of the secondary coil to the two terminals of the galvanometer. Note that we are not connecting any power supply in secondary coil. So no electric current is expected in this coil. The zero reading of the galvanometer confirms that no electric current is detected in the secondary coil. Now you are going to observe something extraordinary. The primary coil and secondary coils are kept very close to each other. There is a very little gap between these two coils. Now we switch on the primary circuit. Carefully observe that the needle of the galvanometer in the secondary circuit deflects to one side and then immediately returns to zero mark. Now switch off the primary circuit. The galvanometer needle deflects to the opposite side and then immediately returns to the zero. The deflection here are very small but it shows that when we switch on or switch off the primary circuit then an electric current is induced in the secondary coil. Let's do some modifications to obtain large deflections in the galvanometer. Now we decrease the gap between the primary coil and the secondary coil. Switch on and off the circuit. In this case, a slightly larger deflection is produced. Now we place the secondary coil inside the primary coil. Now, a much larger deflection is observed when we switched on and off the primary circuit. The needle deflects to left side when primary circuit is switched on. The needle then immediately returns to the zero. When primary circuit is switched off, the needle deflects to right side. The needle then again returns to the zero mark. The deflection of the needle is shown only at the time when primary circuit is either switched on or off. Note that no deflection is produced when the circuit is switched on and in steady state. Now the question is what causes the deflection of the needle in the galvanometer in secondary circuit even though there is no cell, battery or any other power source connected in the secondary circuit. Let's investigate this. When we switch on the primary circuit, electric current starts growing in the primary coil and this generates a change in magnetic field. However, this change is only momentary and soon electric current acquires a steady value. The momentary change in magnetic field induces electric current in the secondary coil and so galvanometer in secondary circuit shows deflections. Same happens when we switch off the primary circuit. The electric current starts dropping from steady value to zero. This creates a change in magnetic field and thus electric current is again induced in the secondary coil but in opposite direction. Now we do something different in our setup. We introduce a bunch of iron nails inside the secondary coil. When we switch on the primary circuit, deflection in the galvanometer increases dramatically. Oh. 
Hope you like our efforts to make science a fun subject. Thank you for watching our channel. Learn and have fun. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe our video. Keep watching, learn and have fun for more science related fun.